It looks like Kai Green is having another relationship with some vegetation. And I never saw myself as the type of person to make a grapefruit joke as I respect Kai Green. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Kai Green was paid to have an adult relationship with a grapefruit when he was younger, struggling for money. And you know, I completely understand this. I would never want to criticize him for doing something like that. But you take a check from Big Broccoli, that's a different story. In more recent news, Kai seems very enthusiastic about going plant-based. What's up guys, your boy here, Kai Green, AKA Mr. Getting It Done. I'm sorry to be spitting at you. Uh, so we're at the office, we're eating up, and uh, this is like my day four, no? Listen, the days kind of bleed into each other, so it's kind of difficult for me to kind of keep track, but I'm still continuing my vegan challenge here. This is really cool. Let me tell you what happened. I just recently have discovered that there's a place not too far from where I am. I Actually, my office space is here in um, Williamsburg. And interestingly enough, everywhere I go, I'm actually discovering more, you know, vegan options that are available to me that I probably would have never even knew existed. Let me show you what happened. I was, um, don't look at my refrigerator, but um, <laughs> we actually found these cool vegan patties. I don't know what the company is. I don't want to try to promote everybody. But basically, this is... This is what it is, this is what's going on. Um, this is actually really good. I got here some seitan, I got some quinoa, got a little bit of good fats here, some um, mushrooms and some kale, and uh, some cashews if you didn't see, got some cashews here. And you know, I'm, and it, it feels good. So I am continuing this thing, and I mean really, it's just like I'm just eating. So um, I really don't know much about trying to say it and doing anything more than enjoying my meal right now. So that said, you get the what's going down, that's the 411 of what's happening with me today in my office space. So on that note, do what you will. Peace. So two weeks ago, he makes an Instagram post talking about the Game Changers, how awesome he might go plant-based. Then a week after that, he announces that he went vegan in that video on his YouTube channel, and now another week later, he's selling a plant-based ebook. And guys, I thought this book cover was something straight out of a porno. And I honestly don't know if this is a joke or if he's going to make love to a bunch of fruit and vegetables. Stranded Island? Who comes up with this shit? As you can imagine, Kai was hard at work deleting comments. I can't imagine the amount of shit he was getting for this. This is hysterical. This is not how you do it. You don't go vegan and then try to sell an ebook the next week. You have to ease into it. Imagine if you're one of those dudes that's into girls peeing on them. You don't go up to girls and ask if they're into water sports before asking them on a date. Hey, I don't know, maybe some of you weirdos do. When you go on that date, you don't whisper, can you pith on me when you're trying to suck down an oyster? You have to ease into it, you know? Several months into the relationship, maybe tell her, hey, if you have to pee, we don't have to take a break, you could just go. I'm losing my mind. If I was Kai Green or the smart little vegan fairy boy I have always aspired to be, I would have vlogged for a few months, posted shots on Instagram of me doing fun vegan stuff like holding cucumbers, saying how great the vegan diet is. Then, you know, four, five, six months down the line, I hit him with an ebook, then maybe a Thrive sponsorship, the old vegan one too. Uh, now, I figured someone as Kai would be a bit more intelligent than this. Er, he is so arrogant, he assumes that his followers will eat this bullshit as they've probably been choking down whatever he's been saying for years. I actually met Kai Green at a party oh, quite a few years ago, maybe like nine or 10 years ago now, uh, when I was still bartending. And at the time, I wasn't bodybuilding. Uh, so maybe it was actually a little sooner, maybe eight or nine years ago. And he was one of the bodybuilders that I always followed when I was lifting weights. You know, I remember he was wearing the biggest suit I had ever seen at this event. And I, I ran out from behind the bar to introduce myself. Definitely had a bit of a fanboy moment. Uh, seeing someone you used to look up to reveal themselves as a sellout in this way is never positive. 
you know, I understand someone has to sell supplements, someone has to make money, but this is taking it a step too far. Kai Green is obviously very muscular, but the level of development that he has achieved as a bodybuilder is at the top of this generation of bodybuilders. His size, his body fat percentage compared to anyone else. The only reason he never won an Olympia, likely being due to politics and his past relationship with some lovely pink fruits. You could give anyone all of the steroids, insulin, growth hormone in the world, and they will never look like Kai Green. This is why everyone is calling Kai Green out on his bullshit. It's not how he got to where he is now, and this vegan diet is clearly not going to work. Someone like Nibai Delgado, who has a much lower level of muscular development, but is still on steroids, is someone that doesn't get as much blowback. The average person genuinely believes Nimai is a natural vegan bodybuilder. It's kind of contradictory because he's using synthetic steroids that are, I mean, steroids are technically plant-based and vegans have very cloudy moral judgment. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if every single vegan athlete has no problem using steroids. And veganism is very far from natural. So why would you be a natural bodybuilder if you're vegan, you know, consuming these types of plant foods that didn't exist a mere 100, 200 years ago. This whole fake natural and steroid argument is pretty big in the fitness community on YouTube. More and more people being exposed and criticized for drug use. What's even bigger than that is the fact that every single professional athlete is on steroids. You don't get to that level without the use of performance enhancing drugs. But because these athletes aren't as muscular as bodybuilders, people are very naive. You know, imagine if they were advertising every single person in the NFL was using steroids. I mean, they might make money in some way, but yes, I understand. Steroids are illegal, so you can't just go around and say you're on steroids, but there are many people who have admitted they are not natural or have hinted something of the sort. The majority of people in the fitness community lack integrity, and that's understandable as bodybuilding is very selfish, spending hours and hours eating and training in the gym, which is why I didn't want to lift weights in the first place. I'd rather focus my energy, uh, you know, helping other people. But people don't seem to value fitness advice unless it comes from a juiced up fake natty. It seems like vegans just wanted something else to lie about. They deceive you about the health effects of the diet, ignoring blatant nutrient deficiencies such as B12, iron, and omega fatty acids. If a diet needs supplements, maybe it's not a natural human diet. Not to mention, those are just the nutrient deficiencies compared to a standard American diet. If we're talking about optimal, you can just about check off every single vitamin and mineral. How bad is a diet if you get worse in health after being on a standard American diet, which is the unhealthiest diet on the planet right now? So they lie about the health effects. They also lie about the environment, even if humans had an effect on CO2. Even if CO2 does affect the climate, which has never been proven, CO2 only accounts for 4% of total greenhouse gases. 96% is actually water vapor, which we have no control over. It's crazy that you have people chanting in the street to save the planet just because someone told them cow farts are making the ice caps melt. How malleable and easy it is to control the general population, it, it's just so unfortunate. Uh, of course, they lie about the moral aspects of a vegan diet as well. Acting as if killing trillions of insects, small rodents, destroying the topsoil through monocropping is more ethical than slaughtering a pig or a cow. But we know the reason for this. Vegans are all cute, cuddly animal lovers. Oink, oink. I follow a bunch of ex-vegans on Instagram, usually women, and even after they quit being vegan, they're still posting pictures of cute animals. And I've had conversations in person with these people. I literally asked them, why are you posting pictures of a guinea pig? I mean, do you think it's cute? Does it make you feel warm and fuzzy inside? And they don't really have a straight answer. They, they literally almost embody themselves as this animal. They're seeing something I'm not seeing. Uh, so I, I don't really know. I think it's an aspect of modern culture that has detached us from nature and has created this artificial bond with an animal that 
humans never really had bonds with. There's a reason for dogs, there's a reason for cats, but a lot of these other animals, it gets questionable. Uh, and now they're going to lie about physical performance. This is a fourth thing. Uh, so normally they just lie about the health, the environment, the moral and ethical aspects. Those are the three main bullet points I usually go over. And now we're saying that you're going to be Kai Green with this Game Changers nonsense, fooling people that a vegan diet will get them where they want to be from an athletic standpoint. But in reality, it will get them injured within a year, ending any sort of physical aspirations they might have had. It's all a carefully orchestrated formula. There's even controlled opposition. In a way, carnivores are now being pitted against vegans, but neither people in these camps are talking about the real issues. The lies about climate change, the control of the food supply, agrochemicals in said food supply, regardless of whether it's a piece of GMO tofu or feedlot beef. Me and Sverage, aka the Baltic Psychopath, have been going to vegan events you know, for well over a year, I think he's been doing it a little longer than me, although, you know, he's a, a bit abrasive, you know, going in the middle of the street and saying, fuck vegans, you know, is probably going to get you beat up or maybe a can of paint poured on your head. And for these big agricultural shills that have emerged recently in the carnivore community, people that have been on the Joe Rogan podcast, people that have been on various podcasts, these academics that have certainly been placed by this big agra are molding the carnivore community to believe they are doing the diet right, whatever it is. Reality is they're just part of this big scheme. And now these big agricultural shills are making their own anti-vegan, anti-game changers documentary. You know, why is it so difficult for someone like me for someone like Sverage to get any sort of publicity because we're not getting cut a check from Cargill, from Bayer Monsanto, from Archer Daniels Midland. I'm getting more discouraged day by day and even with my, you know, large and supportive audience, you know, I don't have the influence to get on a lot of these podcasts that and, and hey, it's, you know, I, I can I can complain all I want about connections and not having this and not having that, but reality is I'm up at 6 a.m. right now filming a video because I truly believe in the message I'm trying to spread and I really want to help people. It could also be that I had an allergic reaction to the dairy I ate last night, but we'll save that for another video. Uh, thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, if you guys could please like the video. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Above all, guys, please, 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 if you can share the video, let people know about this. Uh, it really helps me out. If you do want to support me further, Frankie's free range meat. Guys, I can't tell you how excited I am about, and I always say this, but the products we're continuously bringing to Frankie's free range meat and the things we're doing over the next few months will blow your mind. So definitely check out Frankie's free range meat.com if you want to support, you know, my true integrity of bringing you guys high quality nutrient dense animal foods and making it affordable. It's really absurd that we are the most affordable grass fed beef online and everyone is so happy with the quality of the food. Uh, you can also go to Frankie's Naturals for minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products. Thanks again for joining me, guys. If you're interested in health consultations pertaining to the carnivore diet or just anything in general, send me an email, frankatofano at gmail.com. Maybe, we'll, uh, maybe we'll consult Kai Green on how to sprout some sourdough bread.